Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate and today I'm going to be doing a home decor haul. I've purchased items from Target, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. All of these items I have purchased over the last about two months. They are all home decor items and they're just things I've been using to replace items around my house as well as decorating my bedroom. I've never really decorated my bedroom before so I've been kind of purchasing items to go in there and trying to see how it looks. So I really hope that you enjoy today's video and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with my home decor pieces from uh, Home Goods. We're going to do Home Goods first. Okay, so the first item I have is this little, I guess, bowl thing or yeah, and it says oregano on it. I just thought it was really cute. Kind of see, has this little tie around it and I I am actually going to use this in my kitchen. I have one of those little tear trays in there and I'm gonna put this on there. This item was $5.99. And the next item I have is this cute little plant. And I just loved the little vase it was in. It's very textured. And I'm going to put this on my TV console stand and it was $4.99. And then I also have a picture frame that I bought from there. You can kind of see the glare, so it's hard. And it's got this gold um, detail around it. And if you look really close, you can kind of see, it looks like little scratch areas, which is supposed to look like that. Um, and it's a five by seven. I'm gonna put, a picture of my boys in this and place it also on my console next to this cute little um, plant. And this picture frame was $5.99. I say I'm gonna put a picture in this, but I usually forget and it will sit there forever and ever and ever looking like this. Does anybody else do that or is that just me? I'm always curious if anybody else leaves their picture frames up empty but I'm gonna try to put a picture of my boys in it very, very soon. Okay, and then up next, I have, this is kind of big. I have this little, it's hard to see. Let me scoot back. So it's oval shaped and it's got three little trays and I'm actually putting this in my son's room, my baby boy's room, and I'm just putting a few little items on the shelf. This is really, really lightweight. I've been looking for one of these that I could hang on the wall that was really lightweight. It's gonna go over this spare bed that's in there um, just to kind of display his little sign and some of his little toys. So I'm super excited about this. I believe I paid $24.99 for this, so it wasn't super expensive, and I thought it was a really good deal. So, and then the last item I have, this is the last item I have, it's kind of big. So it's this big, can you even see the camera? It's this big tray and it's got these handles and it's super long and it's like that rustic wood. Um, I am actually have been putting this on my table in my den with some decorations in it and I really, really love this. This, I believe was around $40 which it's really, really good quality. So I don't think that it was a bad price. And I just really love this piece. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and move on to Hobby Lobby and see what I bought from there. The first item that I got is this cute little plant. It has this little rope detail around it. And I'm gonna also put this in the tray in my kitchen. And I just thought it would be a cute little greenery piece to go in there. Next, I bought this little um, pottery jar and it's kind of like a gray blue color. It really depends on the light. And then it's got all this texture detail. Um, I really like the way that it looked. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put this. So I just went ahead and bought it because I thought it was cute. Um, this item was $11.99 and it was on sale. I believe it was 40 or 50% off. And I forgot to tell you the price of the other one. Well, I don't have the price of this one, but I believe that it was on sale and it ended up being a total of $5. Okay. So 
Next, I have this cute little um, house vase. I actually bought this because I thought that it matched the color that's on the beadboard in my kitchen, but it doesn't. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. It reminds me of a hearth in hand piece from Target. Um, it's smooth up here and shiny, and down here it's textured. So I just thought it was really cute. There's a place to put um, flowers or anything you wanna put in there, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this now that it doesn't match my kitchen. And it was $11.99 and it also was on sale. Next up, I have another vase and this was on the clearance. And at first I wasn't real sure about it. Um, and I was gonna paint it when I brought it home, but I actually have a place in my living room where it looks perfect without being painted. It's super, super heavy. And it was on sale for $1.79, so I couldn't pass it up. And it also got another one that was on sale that kind of matches, and it's littler, and it was $1.39. Okay. And then lastly, from Hobby Lobby, I bought these. They hang on the wall, so they have a little hook back here. And this one was $23.99 and it was 50% off. And then I bought the larger one, which was $29.99, 50% off. And so I just thought that they would be super cute hung together. And I actually have already hung these up. Um, I've been hanging them in what I call is our mudroom. We don't have a true mudroom, but we have a little thing there where you can put your shoes. And so I put this over that on the wall because it needed a little bit of something to go there. And I think it looks really cute. Okay, so that's everything that I've purchased from Hobby Lobby. And now I have my Target stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and look what I got from Target. So first thing we'll look at is this. This is a little um, bronze looking vase. And I have this sitting in my living room on a tray that I also purchased from Target. This was $15. Next item, I will go ahead and show you the tray that I was talking about. I bought this big tray, it's gold. And I have it sitting on the little stand that's next to my love seat in there. And it's just so pretty. I feel like it's really good quality. Um, I debated on the tray because of the price and I finally went back and bought it. It was $34.99, but it fits perfect because my little stand is round. And this is just really cute. Okay, find a place to set that. Okay, the next items I have are these little greenery pieces. So they kind of just hang and I have two of them. And I have a a sign in my bedroom it's above our bed and i was trying to think what could go by that to make it look better and i purchased these to go around the sign and it looks really cute i think so it kind of just hangs over the sign like that and i just thought it was the perfect touch these were each i believe five dollars and you can find them in the greenery section at target okay the next item i have is this little plant. And I believe it doesn't say on the bottom, it just says tabletop arrangement, but I got this over at the hearth and hand side and it was $4.99. And then this was just sitting somewhere and I picked it up and I really liked it. So I bought it. It is the Project 62 planter and it doesn't say the price. I believe this was $8. And so I went ahead and purchased this and then I stuck the plant inside it and I just thought that it was really cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. Um, I guess I could put it on our side table in our bedroom, but I haven't decided yet. Okay, the next item I have is this cute wood bowl. It's really big what the inside looks like. It's really thick, as you can see. 
I bought this to go on the dresser in our bedroom and I plan to put some beads in it to kind of hang out, but I haven't purchased any beads yet. But I really liked this bowl. I actually waited till it came back in stock and purchased it. It was $25. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and show you these vases that I got from Target. So they're just clear. They're really thick. I don't know if you can tell. And this one, it's a hearth and hand vase and I paid $15 for it. And then I bought um, these little flowers. These are also hearth and hand and I believe they were $5.99 a piece. They were either $4.99 or $5.99. I can't remember. And so I got one to stick in here, which I need to cut that part off. So I have the littler one and then I went back and I bought the big one. So here's the big one. Pretty big. Um, and I bought two of the flowers in this one. So this vase was $20 but it's really, really thick, like I said, like the small one is. And I'm actually putting these two together on the dresser with the bowl in front of it. So I think that it will look really cute. So, Okay, let's go ahead and look at a few things I got from the dollar spot in Target. They didn't really have anything when I went. Um, the several times that I actually went, they didn't have much. I was hoping that they would have a lot of Easter stuff out, but they just didn't. They did have one of these left. So I, of course, grabbed it right away. And it was $5. And then they had one of these left, this little green bunny. And I just thought he was so cute. And he was $3. So that's all I got from the dollar section because they just didn't have very much and they didn't have any Easter stuff. And then the last item is not home decor. It's actually an organization piece and I have three of them. I bought two of them up front to do our bathroom. So I have one on each side of mine and my husband's um, under our sink. And then I liked them so much that I went back and I purchased another one, which I'm going to place under our kitchen sink. So it looks like this, it comes with two little baskets and then these little gray things they slide out actually i should show you the other side it slides out so that's what it's supposed to look like when it's put together and then it has for each one it has one of these a divider if you want to use it these work so well and they really do hold a lot so i would definitely recommend um purchasing these if you find them and i believe that it was no, I believe I paid $20 for it, but it was very well worth it. The underneath of our kitchen sinks look, or not kitchen, our bathroom sinks look so much better. So I'm excited to put this under my kitchen sink. Okay guys, that's everything in my home decor haul. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you'll give me a like and think about subscribing to my channel. I will try to include what I can in the description box below in case you're interested in any of the items you saw today. Also, I would love to know in the comments um, where you shop for your home decor items and if you liked anything that I bought. Um, I'm always curious where other people get their things. Okay, well, I hope to see you in my next video and I will see you guys later. Bye. So I hope that, um, ah, well.